Thanks for joining us uh, on a beautiful night for baseball. You're very welcome. Anytime, T. Hey, how good is it to get these runs early on? We we we, we need to score first, as you know. We we have not been very good coming from from behind. So uh, get us some momentum. I know they tied the ball game, but uh, hey, we we got a good chance. You know, I, I know uh, we've talked about uh, offense that nauseum. That one is drilled deep down the left field line, but foul. But it's 0-1. You know, we've talked about the offense, uh, and I know you guys want to put things in motion a little bit more too. But it's hard when you don't have a whole lot of base runners. You're right about that. I know Rhino wants to do that, but you know you got to have the right guys at the plate also to do that. You know. That one's foul over to the third base side, and it's no balls and two strikes. It's it's been time where he let me know ahead of time. Hey, you know, heads up with this I, guy. I, I was thinking about that. <laughs> he but, let me know ahead of time, but, but we have not had those guys on base very much. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you talking to Carlos Gomez before the ball game. Do you know him? I know Carlos very well. Carlos played for me in Double A when that one year that I spent in uh, Binghamton, New York, for the Mets. He was one of my my guys there. Did you like him even back then? Oh, I love them, Ben. I love them more. It was the same guy, same, same, same intensity, which it was funny. They would try to have me tone him down a little bit. They said he was too hyper, too, too, too aggressive. And I told Omar Minaya at that time, give me 10 Gomez. I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's down on strikes. He just lost his helmet. And there's one away. That's two strikeouts in the ball game for Roberto Hernandez. Want to take a look at this swing right here? Is it? Change up. I got it as a change up down and away. And look at Gomez. I mean, he's out of his, out of Roberto Hernandez's hand. He thinks it's a fastball and <laughs> it just never gets there. So, well, Carlos is your typical Dominican hitter. We come up the island swinging. <laughs> I agree there. But Juan, I got a question for you. What do you think of the uh, the replay this year? You know, I, I, I'm I know it's going to get a lot better. The, the one I have issues with and we all do uh, is, is the play at the plate you know I know they're trying to get the place right you know which, which is the object of this game but uh, uh, it's some situation at home plate I, I think they, they probably need to fix a little bit now uh, uh, when you're coaching first uh, are you changing anything because of replay are you getting into discussions a little bit more just to give the you know give Larry Boa time to get you know look at it I mean are you looking at the bag a little bit more are you I'm, looking at anything differently I'm looking at the bag making sure those guys stay on the base and kind of if I have an idea I kind of uh, be a little bit animated about it give, give Ryan a chance and Larry Boa to call the, the, the replay there's a grounder over to third a chopper to third Cody Ashley throws to first in time all right uh, we had that play at the plate earlier uh, where Ramirez scored from second I know you've been working with Ben with his arm strength. Have you seen progress with his arm strength? Which is funny. When pregame he throws very, very well with game situation. It just seems like he's he's not getting a good grip. He's rushing everything there. We have not seen the same throw that he's doing during during the game that he's been doing during pregame. And I guess that's something that you could keep talking to him about or remind him about. But it's it, I, I guess we always say game situations are much different than BP situations. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that one's hit toward the middle. And Ryan Howard digs it out. Well, Sammy, you used to throw it on a line on a buzz from second base. But Ryan Howard was able to help Jimmy Rollins there. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you very much, guys. All right, we'll talk to you again. That's Juan Samuel, Philly's first base coach. A pretty quick inning for Roberto Hernandez as we go to the fourth.